This complex world can be anything but kind. There are so many factors that affect our state of mind. It could be academic mess that causes chronic stress or domestic abuse that leads to drug misuse. Or it could be that you feel it all a loss, thinking no one gives a toss that you're the victim of some nasty goss. Or that you simply just don't fit into the fashion of society. You get jealous of the false portraits which then create anxiety because your life, your life feels like it's failing when it's compared to theirs. You get that feeling of no one cares, that no one ever shares. And then you're unable to function, unable to offload, unable to talk, talk to anyone in your abode. Our forefathers were the same, keeping it quiet was their notion, but little did they know of the toxic potion. Weaknesses were afraid to be worn, reputations were afraid to be torn. Is this the reason why the stigma of mental health was born? But that was then and this is now. An era of it's good to talk and talk about. It's time we've shown our emotion. It's time we embrace the support that's in motion. And it's time to eradicate our forefathers' notion. Heads up, wise up, hashtag I'm here for you. All awareness campaigns, just to name a few, that encourage you to get it off your plate. Talk about the days you fear and hate and the days of the sadness that have become a trend and the days when the dark clouds start to descend and the days when anxiety flows and the days when the motivation just... Well, it just goes. Now, these campaigns are helpful, but only if troubles are spoken. Unfortunately, that skill is broken and it needs to be woken. But we're born with that skill. It's called a neonatal cry, and that's a fact that no proud man can deny. So let us ingrain our infants with this natural trait before life's bumpy road locks their gate. Because I see mental health as a subject that Ofsted quietly ignores. Where are the lessons to help us fight our mental wars? So let's change the curriculum, put mental health on a student's path, make it a priority with English and math. Let's teach the young to be resilient and how to deal with stress. Explain that even the trees, they need help to redress. And teach them to be grateful, mindful and always, always be kind. Let's design the blueprint for an unbreakable mind. And if that happens, mental health will matter. Mental health will not be a latter and when troubles are crossed, they won't feel lost and allow their world to shatter. And then and only then, bravery will be worn, reputations will not be torn and the stigma, the stigma of mental health we will all gladly mourn.